When it comes down to golf, there is actually nothing harder than putting. There's a reason that you get two chances to hold the putt on the green. That's right, you don't get that off the tee, you don't get that from the fairway or any other shot. So everyone knows in golf that putting is already hard. But today, I'm going to show you three simple tips that will allow putting to become considerably easier, which will also allow you to shoot lower scores. So tune in. So tip number one is eye alignment or eye positioning. So everyone knows that when you play golf, your eyes control where your hands and your body moves to. So if you set up to the golf ball and you're looking back here, your eyes are down here, the likelihood is your hands and your body will find a way to allow you to hit that point back there, which is great, but it also causes a lot of problems if you don't set up correctly in the first place. So for this first tip, we're gonna use one ball on the ground and we're gonna take two golf balls here. You may not need to, but it's always good to have two just in case. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna set up to your putt like you would hit a normal putt, like you're gonna hit your standard six foot putt. You're going to grip the putter and do everything correct. You're then going to take one hand off and take a golf ball. You're going to place it smack bang in between your eyes and you're going to let go. And as you saw just there, my first ball that was on the ground and the second ball I dropped from my eye line landed straight on top of the golf ball, which means my eye line is perfectly aligned with the golf ball and where I want to hit. Now, for example, let's say I looked slightly back or my head was slightly behind the ball and I do that. You can see it misses by miles. So tip number one is eye alignment. Just get used to dropping a ball and making sure your eyes are aligned with the putter. This then allows you to take the putter back and hit a good stroke and a consistent stroke and a consistent strike. So tip number one is eye alignment. So just like how important your eye alignment is when you set up, your body alignment is also just as important. And what I see a lot of people do is neglect their body alignment and how they understand how you know a putt should start. So when you set up, again, like when you practice on the range, always have something on the ground to line your feet up to. You then, when you step over your putt, once you've got your eye place sorted, you just want to balance the shaft across your legs like that and make sure they're straight, across your hips, and then just do that across your shoulders to make sure everything is aligned. Then just let the putter drop back down and make a stroke. Now, albeit that putt didn't go in, the fundamentals were correct. So what I want you to do for tip number two is every time you're on the practice area before you go out for a round, hit three to five putts where you just set up and you just make sure everything is aligned. You understand that feeling, which will then allow you to stroke the ball back and forward consistently, allowing you to hold more putts, allowing you to improve your score and more than likely beat your friends or competitors. Tip number three, probably one of the most important tips you can ever, ever be given. All great putters are great when it comes to judging speed. Now, why is speed so important, I hear you say? Because speed actually adjusts how much a putt breaks, how much it doesn't break. It actually allows the ball to go in the hole. The correct speed and the correct line usually mean the ball goes in the hole. So what I never see people do is practice their speed. I see them practice the same putt. So they'll have three balls lined up and they'll putt to this hole, which is great because once you've hit the first putt, you realistically should know how hard to hit the second and the third putt. But what I never see them do is do this. Get three balls and this is what you're going to try and do. You're going to pick three different spots. So you're going to pick this spot here, you're going to pick a middle spot and then you're going to pick the actual hole. So the idea here now is, is that you're starting to understand the speed and how much hitting the ball controls the putt. So what you're going to do with the first putt, you know, is just to aim, you know, you've got your body alignment sorted and you're just going to just get used to, okay, so that one got me there. You're then going to go to your second ball. I'm gonna to have to move it slightly. And then you're going to go, okay, I wanna to go to the middle sand patch. How do I get it there? And you're going to do that and you're going to understand how the speed goes. You're then going to go to your third ball and go, right, I know how the shorter putt works. I know how the middle putt works. Let's try and see how the longer putt works. And there you go. You start to understand the speed, what the speed does to the putt. 
and what it also does to the line. It's very, very important that you get good with speed. It's actually sometimes more important to be good with the speed of the putt than the stroke of the putt. But it would be good if we could get both of them correct at the same time, because I'm pretty sure we would start to hold more putts. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you've enjoyed these three tips to improve your putting, and hopefully you start to hold more putts, because if you do, your scores will drop, your handicap will drop, you'll start to win more competitions, you'll start to beat your friends more, and you will start to enjoy golf even more because there is nothing better than shooting a good round of golf am i right have you ever walked off the golf course and gone oh i've played rubbish today but i loved every second no have you ever walked off the golf course and gone i shot under my handicap today oh i feel alive i want to go play more yes you have and if you haven't i think you're telling fibbies but there you have it make sure in the comment section below you let me know how important these tips were what you found out when you tried them was you good at speed but was you not good with your eye alignment was you bad with eye alignment your body alignment and the speed or was you good at all three already and you didn't need the tips let me know because the more information i get the better and the more constructive my videos can become to help you behind the lens so if you have enjoyed this video please smash the thumbs up subscribe if you are new or you're not subscribed already turn that notification bell on because it will let you know when my next video goes live which is 7 p.m gmt every day on this channel there is always brand new content going out and as always follow me across my socials but most importantly i know we're trying to stop this but most importantly stay chopping team <laughs>